Miley Cyrus reflected on her feud with the late Sinead O'Connor over her Wrecking Ball music video and dedicated a song in her honor. I had no idea about the fragile mental state that she was in, and I was also only 20 years old so I could really only wrap my head around mental illness only so much. And all that I saw was that another woman told me that this idea was not my idea. And even if I was convinced that it was, it was still just, you know, men in power's idea of me. And all that I saw was that another woman told me that this idea was not my idea. And even if I was convinced that it was, it was still just, you know, men in power's idea of me. And they had manipulated me to believe that it was my own idea when it never really was. And it was. And it is. And I still love it. She continued, I think I had just been judged for so long on my own choices that I was just exhausted. And I was in this place where I finally was making my own choices and my own decisions. And to have that taken away from me deeply upset me. God bless Sinead O'Connor for real, in all seriousness. Cyrus then cut to a performance of her singing, Wonder Woman, which she dedicated to O'Connor, who passed away in July at the age of 56. Cyrus and O'Connor's feud began in 2013 when Cyrus shared in a Rolling Stones interview that her Wrecking Ball music video was inspired by O'Connor's 1990s video for Nothing Compares to You. After their lengthy back and forth, Cyrus admitted in October 2013 that O'Connor was an incredible artist, but still wasn't entirely sure why O'Connor sparked a feud in the first place.